Okay, so one of you guys has sent me a message asking about our motorcycles warranty. Eddie, let's talk about that. <laughs> Hey guys, what's up? It's Jay Buen Successo back with another video. And today we're gonna talk about our motorcycles warranty. But before I start, guys, if you wanna learn more about our motorcycle, make sure that you subscribe and click the bell icon so that I when I upload the way is mana notify girl. Alright guys, just to make everything clear. I did not have the chance to interview a person, a legit person, na makakasagot ng tanong natin tungkol sa warranty. So, what you are about to hear or get from this video is purely what I have experienced on my own dealer and my own personal understanding regarding my motorcycle's warranty. So, there is a big possibility, guys, na yung warranty ng dealer ko is iba yung terms sa warranty ng dealer nyo, okay? So, yun. Just so we are clear, okay? Okay, so let's start. When we say warranty, guys, unang pumapasok sa atin, pag binili natin yung item, sila yung bahala pag nasira on a specific time or specific time period, okay? So, example, guys, yung laptop ko, May warranty ng 3 years, no? Pinagawa ko yung laptop ko, nasira yung screen, and then, ginawa nila. Tapos wala akong binayaran. No, pinalitan nila yung screen. Now, I think, it is different when it comes to our motorcycle. So, kunyari, nasira yung motor, may pinalitan. Hindi libre yung pinalit nila. So, ibig sabihin, babayaran mo pa rin yung pinalitan nila. Ang libre lang is yung labor ng mismo dealer, okay? Guys, again, this could be different on a different dealer, but on my dealer, guys, nasisira. Kapag may nasisira sa motor, pinapalitan nila. Pero guys, binabayaran pa rin ng dealer. Binabayaran pa rin ng customer, okay? So, yung labor lang, yung libre. Alright. So, Son Son has asked me if the warranty is worth it. Kasi, mabuboy yung warranty kasi gusto niyang palagyan ng ano, palagyan ng uh, switch, atong switch na to. And then, an alarm system. So, syempre, terms ng dealer, kapag ginalaw mo yung wiring, void na yung warranty. Okay? So, my answer to that question is based on my experience is, yes, go ahead. Uh, palagyan mo na ng switch, palagyan mo na ng alarm. Kasi yung mga uh, alarm naman is malaking bagay yan sa motor mo. Paano pag tapatan ka ng ano, hold the pin ka, I mean, karang na pin ka, di ba? O ano gagawin mo? Bigay mo nila yung motor, saka patayin mo na yung alarm system. O, i-activate yung alarm system, di ba? So, hindi nila maaakuha yung motor mo. Okay? So, yes. Pagdating doon, kung security features, okay lang ma-void yan, guys. Okay lang ma-void yan, okay? So, let me tell you a story about what happened. Okay? I think 3 months pa lang yung motor Pinalagyan ko ng switch sa tatay ko Cause my father is a mechanic So pinalagyan ko ng switch Ibig sabihin, ginalaw na yung wiring, ba? So, on that point, void na yung warranty ko, guys Void na yung warranty ko Pero, pagdating sa service ng dealer ko Sineservisan nila ako Sineservisan pa rin nila ako Yung change oil, tune up, FI cleaning, yan Ginawa pa rin nila yun, kahit na nagalaw na yung, ano ko, nagalaw na yung wiring ko. As long as I have a booklet, yung booklet na guide, hindi ko alam tawag doon, pero booklet yun guys, na hinahanapan kapag sinaservisan ka. So as long as you have the booklet guys, sinaservisan ka pa rin ng dealer, to change oil pa rin nila. So guess what, yung oil, syempre bibilid mo pa rin yun, yung labor lang yung libre. And sa pagkakaintindi ko, sa warranty na yan is yung labor lang yung libre <laughs> sa dating sa warranty no? so pag nasiraan ka pa rin for example nasira yung piston mo pinalitan eh babayaran mo pa rin yung piston pero wala kang babayaran sa labor no? yan ang pagkakaintindi ko sa warranty ngayon for example 
kung inaasahan mo na yung buong motor papalitan dahil sa warranty ay never yata nangyari yan guys na pinalitan yung motor dahil sa warranty so kung yun yung inaasahan mo edi go ahead pa-void mo na yung warranty mo pero hindi uh, naman kasi nila papalitan yung buong motor eh no? so again guys you have to remember I am saying this based on what I see and what I experience, based on my own circumstances, no? based on my own dealer. Now, different dealers, maybe they have their own warranty terms, but I'm just saying this because of what I have experienced, okay? So keep in mind that thing. So yun guys, super quick video lang. Clear <laughs> ko lang experience ko tungkol sa warranty na yan and my opinion. Kung may mga katanungan kayo, comment down below and I'm gonna try to answer that. Kung nakatulong naman sa inyo, guys, eh, di eh, maraming maraming salamat sa panonood. So yun, guys, super quick video lang, no? Sinare ko lang sa inyo yung experience ko and yung opinion ko pagdating sa warranty ng motor natin. I hope may natutunan kayo guys and kung may mga katanungan kayo click uh, so, uh, comment down below and syempre kung nakatulong sa inyo eh di subscribe and click the bell icon para updated kayo sa mga video ko okay guys I'm Jay Ben Suceso always and I'll see you on the next one I hope I'm